Hi, hello. Yo, what up, everyone? Welcome. It's been a, uh, it's been a quite the eventful, uh, quite the eventful couple of days, right? Ooh. You know, I had an amazing time. It was a 48 hour rust event and very fun. A lot of, uh, a lot of content came from the server, a lot of content and maybe even more content to come as a result of the new server. Does there no way to get the Toast MP5 skin anymore? No, unfortunately there is not. If you wanted the skin, you should have checked me out for three hours. But you didn't. And now you will never have the skin. Are there going to be future events? Uh, I mean, I plan to do future events, but, uh, tell us what happened. Okay. Okay. Who here doesn't know what happened over the last three days? Where were you guys? It was only the entire page of LSF for three days, like the entire weekend. What were you guys doing? Having a life? Hey, you guys are probably having a life. Um, well, a lot, well, well, I mean, you can look at the official Twitch rivals statement. So, oh, uh, over the last weekend, a couple of days ago, starting on Thursday, I hosted and organized along with Twitch, uh, a Rust server that went for 48 hours in an NA versus uh, Spain and Latin America Rust battle 40 V 40. And, uh, man, it was, it was really dramatic. A lot happened. A lot happened. Hi, Mr. Toast and Toast the Crumbs. Happy Sunday. Okay, you're way too positive for the stream. What's your name? Sit down. Where is he? Josie Jay Z. All right, you know that's a that's a thirty minute timeout. All right. You you say cringe stuff like that again, it's gonna be a twenty four hour timeout. Alright, anywho, like I was saying So I hosted a Rust event and it was forty NA streamers versus forty Spanish speaking streamers. Three day event. It was supposed to be three day, uh, three days worth of broadcast, but on the third day there was not a final broadcast, a final ending to the entire event. So the entire forty eight hours have, was building up to this final broadcast, and on the third day it didn't happen because the Spanish team decided to not play in protest because they felt like the entire event was rigged by the admins for North America to win. It 
which means NA1 by default. Let's fucking go, America. USA. Uh, which was led by me, a Canadian that was born in Taiwan and raised in Malaysia. And the other biggest streamer was XQC a French Canadian and our third biggest streamer and our best one of our best player H June a Korean Canadian so the funny thing is like the Spanish community was insulting America nonstop when the figureheads of the NA team were three Canadians. It's like, yeah, Americans will always rig it so they win. It's like, yeah, I USA, USA, USA. So yeah, um, Twitch Rivals put out this statement. Unfortunately, there will not be a day three broadcast of the Twitch Rivals Rust Team Battle Disguised Toast v. Alexby. Teams have come to an amicable agreement. Um, amicable. What? Defi define amicable. Define amicable. Having a spirit of friendliness without serious disagreement or rancor. That's cap. That's cap. We did come to an agreement, but it was not. It, it, I would not use the word amicable. Team Disguised Toast takes home the win. Another event organized by Disguised Toast where Disguised Toast wins. I'm seeing a pattern here. Namra TV will be awarded the kill leader bonus tallying 160 kills during the events GG's to both teams. Yeah, that Namra guy was really good at killing people. We thank all the creators for their time and viewers for watching. Twitch Rivals aims to create groundbreaking events for creators in the spirit of competition and good sportsmanship. We seek to showcase fun rivalries, but also bring communities across the globe together around games we all love. It definitely united communities, but not like uniting NA and Spain, but more uniting NA with other NA streamers and Spain with other Spain streamers. And I mean, the people did unite, but against a common enemy. We heard the community's concern and aim to further clarify the rules to prevent confusion, reevaluate the format and consider global event timings in the future. I think that's their way of saying time zone, which doesn't matter when the event runs for 48 hours. Because in 48 hours, the event happens around the world. We can't plan time zones when the event is 48 hours. We've heard the community's concern. Oh, you know, I read that part. While this event did not end the way we hoped, we look forward to doing right by Spain, LATAM, and NA communities in upcoming events based on learnings from this event and feedback from the community. I did, I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. What if it just never ended? Honestly, I think that server could have gone for at least a week. Uh, 
um because it was just i felt like it was just getting started i did two days i was like we should do it 48 hours um so that's quick and it's because twitch rivals can't cover in an event for more than like a couple of days the fact that a twitch rivals event covered it over the course of three days was a lot already but that server on its own i think could have gone a week and would have been really really spicy um so uh that's how the server ended luckily we had fireworks uh, i think blueprint prepared some fly fireworks and we did go out with a bang the na team wanted to just go over and raid what remains of the spanish team space as kind of like a an official raid to put an end to it but we weren't allowed to cross over and do that <laughs> because it would have looked impolite to essentially stomp on the dead corpse and kick them all down. So that didn't happen. Those, do you think they'll let you host another event? Um, I think so, but I think they would definitely want to hold me back a little bit because when i pitched this event i swear to god in the meeting i said yo you know let's get some spiciness in here and my my suggestion that got shot down was that the twitch rivals twitch rivals wanted emotes for both team and i said yeah for na can we get a giant american flag with a bald eagle and they said no. <laughs> They're like, that's a little too nationalistic toast. So they let me have the bald ego instead. Um, and I remember during the meeting, I said, look, guys, I don't condone any type of drama. But I'm hoping things explode and people like I, I'm hoping tensions are high. I I think this event would have been perfect if it had a finale. I thought all the drama that built up, all the salt, all the rage that built up over the course of the first 40 hours set up to be such a good final battle because everyone's pride and ego were put on the line with all the shit talking all the trash talking and it was ready like everything was coming to fruition and then they just quit and it's like, it's all, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a conclusion in its own way. I think the Spanish team quitting is in itself very spicy too, because it gets everyone talking about it, right? Like an epic final battle would have been really good from a gameplay perspective, but an entire team quitting is also very very newsworthy right everyone was talking about it because of it and i think it's just gonna make the next rust event even better
Toast, why did you go international on the first Rust tourney? Why not test and turn it with Pro NA team? Because the whole reason why this popped off was because of the interna international aspect. Do you understand how national pride works? You think people will give a shit? If it's like Rust Pro NA1 versus Rust Pro NA2, boring. This was the only thing being talked about the entire weekend um, when it comes to like Twitch gaming events. Toast, was the R Place drama inspiration to make it international? Yes, I looked into the future in January, saw the R Place drama happening timed it so that this event would happen right after our plays. No, no, it was not planned. I did not convince Twitch rivals within the span of two days to register 80 content creators, get the Rust devs on board, get custom skins, get custom maps, all done in two days. I did not do that. No, I did not do that. I know you guys think very highly of me, but I actually did not do that. It was just good timing. Because, surprise! When national pride is at stake, people care a lot. I just, I just hope um, Twitch isn't turned off from this. Like I could, I could do events like this, like without Twitch. It's just easier with Twitch because they take care of everything. But I, I could do it for other people. Like I've done it with Apex, right? Like Apex came to me and gave me a whole bunch of money. Hey, can you do an event for us? I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, but that one was more sponsored. Twitch was just for fun. The concept is there, um, but next time I will probably have people commit to play. And not, I'm not just talking about like people quitting, but like if you sign up for an event like this, you have to play because a lot of NA streamers like did sign up and some played for like one or two hours, which is fine. They didn't know what they were getting themselves into, but I want to do events where it's like, Hey, are you in or are you out? It's like, because a lot of people also um, canceled the last minute of the event. So that's why we had to get so much like other Rust players to join. Um, because I swear to God, the day before, I had 10 cancellations on me. Uh, which is fine. Things come up, things happen, but for events like this, where we wanted to be like super banger, people should write it down in the calendar, right? Like, Hey, this is the event you're going to commit to. If you can't make it totally fine, but let us know, right? There needs to be blacklists for those whiny quitters. I look, that's, that's for Twitch to do. I would still invite, like if I run events and it's international, I would still love to invite some of the Spanish streamers I've met because some of them were really lovely. All right. But there, I can name one. I definitely will not want to interact with. But the rest, super nice. Alex B, he was like, Alex B was super nice, guys. I know you guys like to clown on him because of his tweets, but he was put in a very difficult position. He had to figure out a solution that would make NA happy, that would make Twitch happy, that would make Spain happy. 
And it's like everyone yelling at him to do something. So it was a really difficult position to be in. And I do not think any less of him. But I mean, it's difficult, right? Because either you say one thing and piss off NA, or you say another thing and piss off Spain. And he's a Spanish streamer. He's he, guys. He's not gonna piss off his own people. So next time, um, I think this proved that ideas like this work, but the enforcement of rules have to be done in the game. Uh, anything based on the honor system will never work. It just won't, um, because sweaty players will want to be sweaty and exploit the system. It's just how they're going to play, right? How NA is going to play how any sweaty player is going to play. So the next time I try something like this, it's just going to be very, it's going to be much st more straightforward. Like I, but I don't want to do something as simple as I'm going to take 20 NA Apex players and 20 French Apex player and have them play Apex. I think this event was fun because it was so custom made. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to try and do more events like this. Hours played cap. Um, I do agree in the sense that <laughs> we should have had, I think server windows, like 12 hour windows, because what ended up happening, shroud kept logging on when the entire Spanish team was sleeping. Every time Shroud logged on, he couldn't find a single person to fight. He logged on after the, the, the event ended. Right. I thought when there was fighting, it was great. Like them beating us at uh, Bradley, great. Us beating them at military tunnels, great. A lot of fighting, a lot of back and forth. June had like an epic, like th there was one epic moment um, when they stormed our beach. You can't, you literally can't. Really can't. Yeah. It's impossible. It's six L nines across like a hundred meters of open water. Yeah, they're far, far away. They're pushing oh in. Oh my god! Yeah, they're yeah, coming yeah. to our island, weapons. Bolt central. They don't know about me. I'm gonna pop and try to doink in a sec. Um, the, their entire team. Like it was really cool of the enemy team to invade us. Oh my god! And this Dude, moment this is like from a them. TV show. Wait, let's get. No shot. This is like in John Wick, and like at the subway station where a train passes between the two assassins. This boat just happened to pass between the NA side and the Spain side in the middle of an epic battle. This is straight out it's, of a movie, It really man. won't last that long. And June jumps on board and starts sniping them from the boat. Dude, count the bolties. Holy shit. <laughs> they're running. They're full running. They're full running. Okay. I'm, I'm behind them right now. Yeah, I can get you. I can... Yeah, I'm behind them. One well, bitch. Guys, one on the beach. He's, he's like. Where are they, though? So much... oh, oh, I can hit that. You got your Dude, are, are they are they making a symphony with their bolt shots? They're playing Beethoven wait, with wait, their wait, shots. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, you're shooting at me. You guys, you're shooting at me. I'm naked. I have nothing. Like this was this was sick, right? And I loved doing it. I loved the Spanish players for doing this with NA. Like this fight, it was great. They invaded. We pushed them back. And I just imagine this all the time, like how 
amazing could it have been? We were this close to greatness. This close, chat. Like the Spanish side had great players, cracked players. Why is everyone muted? Oh, I mute every single person I follow on Twitter. You want to see my homepage? It's just me. Um, cause I don't like using Twitter for, um, news. I feel like it's like a lot of noise. I just use Twitter to like tweet when I have stuff coming out. Chat, don't get addicted to social media. Wait, does a scar have a clip somewhere? Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna full sand naked, I guess. Oh, shit, do you have a bandage? Do you have a bandage? No, Scar, oh, I'm I leaving. A, uh, I, w I would play it just like in the hot end. you have a bandage? You got any bandages? Hey, Shun, I know you're busy. Hey, Shun, I know you're busy murdering the entire Spanish team, but can you give me some bandages? Um, yeah, uh, there was a clip of Buddha and I think, um, Pico running their, running a mini copter into the rust, uh, let's see, I saw, Yo, you saw how I saved that? Yo, people yeah, text this motherfucker saved. right now, bro. We're, we're gonna die. Yeah, this you're insane. Right now, bro. We're gonna die. Okay, sorry. Um, there's this weird thing on my... Oh, shit. Hang on, let me turn off the ads. Sorry, sorry for the ads, sorry for the ads. Save this motherfucker! Save this mother! Chase this motherfucker, Pico! We're really, right we're now? really, really good on low. Set her down! Set her down! Wait, on Claude. Buddha needs to land. Wait, they just bumped Buddha. Oh no, that was the thing. Oh. Here, just shoot it! Just shoot it! It might be really, really low. It's not. Yo, you saw how I uh, saved that? Yo, yeah, Pico, yeah, you're this insane. motherfucker right now, bro. We're, we're gonna die. Save this motherfucker! Save this mother! Chase this motherfucker, Pico! Get him! Pico, get him! Are we gonna blow this up? Yup! Yup! Pick one! Boom. The bald eagle. You got him, Pico? Yeah, oh, they're I got gone. him. They're gone. They're gone. Let's fucking go. They all die? Can we get their loot? <laughs> no, it's unsafe, right? No, they. God. So much great moments. The storyline. The build up. Oh, this one was so scoby but funny. Oh, I know that, bro. I need him dead. You kill my, my partner. He's dancing with the Spanish team. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, no way, man. I wouldn't do that. Are you While he's crafting a yoka. <laughs> Steal his gun. Starts murdering people. Like that is that is rust in a nutshell. Like you try and befriend someone and he kills you, takes your gun and starts killing other people. Pushed. Well, boost well, me. It's just well, like... boost me. Well, boost me. Well, boost me. Oh. Should I respawn well, back at the island and suffer now? Kill that horse. Well, kill that horse. Oh, kill that horse. Why? I want to run back for there. No, for Volgrade, for Volgrade. Oh, oh. How, how healthy well, is it? Well, we got the Scrappy. I, I know. Just give me a second. Oh, it's so healthy. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Are you okay. doing it? Yes, yes, we got yes. It, we got it, we have it, we have it. I got the Scrappy. Wait, we have the Scrappy? We got the Scrappy. Oh, it's ours. Let's go, go, go. No way, how did you steal it? No way, you it was the plan all along, H2. <laughs> Wait, did you guys go inside their house though? My life wasn't worthless, it was worth something. I was a baby. Yeah. Oh, this is a funny one. Since that's still ours, you need to turn it off for me to authorize um, Shifter. Hi, Toast. I, I, I authorize Shifter on all the. Since that's still <laughs> ours, you need to turn it Yeah, ah, but I don't know if I'm going to be part of organizing the next one because honestly, they have everything they need. Um, they don't really need me to do anything anymore. Um, because honestly, I was just there to prove the concept. And it's been proven, like, this concept does work. Yeah. Um, so... I look forward to the next one, even if I don't play in it, I look forward to just watching it because I think it would be amazing content. I think the server could have gone longer for sure. And if you do it without Twitch specifically, um, it will, it could last like a week. Do you think 80 people is too much? I don't think so. I thought 80 people were fine. Uh, Cause not 80 people would be online at all times. I think the most online people we got was around 60 uh, at any given moment. What's the next game you have in mind? Uh, I don't know, Russ is so special. That's why I wanted to do the first international one with Rust. 
because there's just something about Russ that brings out the primitive caveman in each of us. The need for survival, the hate of the enemy. Like you go back to monkey mode. Like in Minecraft, in Fortnite, in Valorant, you don't go back to monkey mode. Shout out to fucking Miss Do It Big for fucking getting me in. I wasn't even supposed to be in this event. She got me in last second, uh, literally an hour before this event started. So I'm really fucking grateful to Miss Do It Big. I, 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 I could have, I, I wasn't even supposed to be here, dude. Uh, let me go thank her, man. I, I should go thank her. What the fuck? Mods, link Miss Do It Big's channel. Yo, Missy. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You can't make this shit up, man. <laughs> you can't be uh, Miss Dylan Big had a funny clip on her Twitter as well. What you doing, huh? Where your boys at, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. Nah. Listen. No, no, no. We don't leave. Nah. No, uh, no talky. No talky. <laughs> Try to hold me up. Uh uh. Oh man. She fucking rolled him. Giga Chad. So funny. Have you seen the Tarek one? Oh, the, the one where he crashes the helicopter. Dude, my, it's so hard to minimize in this game. Good clips. Um, what I like about this is that you can actually do another Rust server now because there's actually a demand for it now. Like, after the first couple of OTV servers, like, people were OD, like, there was too much Rust. But now, um, I think after this event, people actually want more rust. Because they didn't get enough rust. It was too short. And it didn't have a satisfying uh, conclusion. So I think now if you do another rust event, um, that's more competitive. No RP, actually. Like, as much as, much as I l like the occasional RP, RP, I think, went too far. Um, and this server had pretty much no RP. It was just like fighting, fighting with the occasional, very, very, like the RP happened within your group, right? You were like, Hey, go RP with the enemy team. And if you shoot me, you're a dick. Right? 
you want to like have banter with your own group and maybe with the enemy team if you like down them and there's like a few seconds to talk. Like RP was good. Um, at the outpost, I know there was quite a few RPing going on at the outpost. <laughs> Ryan didn't want to RP. Oh yeah, Ryan committed a war crime. But if he did that on an RP server, he would get shit for it, right? But he RP'd on a PvP server. No, he PvP'd on a PvP server. So you can't blame him for doing that. I was trying to RP with two prisoners. RP and Ryan rolled up and just shot them both in front of me. <laughs> he executed two prisoners. Um, yeah, but it was really unfortunate about the rule change. It happened a lot. Um... I like to think the rule changes affect both Spain and NA, but next time we'll try and do like almost no rules and just let people do whatever they want. I think rules just made people not happy. And like, you had to code in the rules. Toes, you guys could have a small meeting before the event to discuss the rules to agree on them. That's what we did for three months. And during the event, I was in seven admin calls about rule changes. And in each one of them, they proposed it. And either you said, okay, we're okay with that. Oh no, we're not okay with that. Cause there was times where they would propose something and I would say, no, I am not okay with this. It's not okay. If we're going to do this, then I want this. If they're going to get this, then I want to get this. If they want to get that, I want to get that. Um, but I don't think anything was made without talking to somebody, right? Can you tell us, Rue, you weren't okay with? So one of the things I had a problem with is the rules. One of the rules uh, at some point said, you're not allowed to go and go inside the enemy building. And they're saying Coco went inside the enemy building to steal the crap, uh, scrap helicopter. And I said, he did not go inside the enemy building. He went on top of the enemy building. So I said that in my opinion, he didn't break the rule. Cause he specifically went after something that was on the building, not in the building. And the admin said, look, you're, that's kind of like, you're kind of missing the point of the rule. And I said, no, I'm not miss. I got a little triggered and I apologized to Vadim the admin. Cause I got like a little Karen with him. I'm going to be honest. I, I turned it into Karen mode. I said, Cause he said like, I know that from your perspective, you guys did nothing wrong. And I word for word said, it's not a matter of perspective. That is not my perspective. That is facts. That is what happened. Do not tell me that's a perspective. Um, and in hindsight, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but he said, the spirit of the rules means you can't go inside the 15 by 15 plot. And I like, okay. 
All right, if you want to give them the scrap helicopter back, then can we ask for either one of two things? Can we either be able to buy our own scrap helicopter from Outpost, or can we disable oil rig so that we can fight elsewhere? Because we don't like having to go to oil rig every single time for the crate. We want to fight at launch site. We want to fight at military tunnel. We want to fight at um, the islands. We don't want to always fight at the oil crate. And they took this and they went to the Spanish team. And I'm pretty sure I saw Recoy in chat with them. In the voice call with them, right? And the admin made the decision and said that was okay. Do you think language barrier complicated things and added to it? Yeah, I would say so. I don't think the Spanish team decided to be unreasonable for no reason. They didn't just say, we're losing, so we quit. It's like, it's because they don't, they felt like they didn't understand everything. That rules were done without telling them, right? They didn't just suddenly decide to be rude, in my opinion, right? I'm sure they had reasons to behave like that. But just stopping and leaving, I felt was very disrespectful to the, to the organizers. Coconut B says, no offense, Mr. Toast, but they were some dumb motherfuckers. I'm glad Coconut B is around on, on our team. He was a good person to have to say the spicy things. Thank you, sir. I'm just saying there are some things I can say and some things I can't say. I don't encourage any toxicity. My teammates, you know, what they say is that's up to them. Yeah, I had an admin call. Like the first admin call I brought in Hey the second, uh, the, I think the fourth one. They're like, hey, we would like a couple of representatives from the NA side in this call. I'm like, you know, I'm going to bring Mendo. I'm going to ask Coconut to be in this one because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be too polite. All right. Uh, whew, let's... Um, Let's review some unbanned requests and some bans that happened over the weekend because I'm sure I am sure. very confident that uh, a lot of banning happened uh, over the week.
Okay, let's see. How do we get the unban on screen? That's good. Now oh, this one's easy. This one just says, this guy's just plugging his Instagram, Carlos on Instagram, and his unbanned request is just a what question mark. Uh, deny you'll never be Instagram famous if this is your marketing. Strategy. Good luck on it, though. Okay, what about this one? I can't even read this. What is the point of playing at a disadvantage? The administrators since day two have helped the US team. The Spanish got fed up with that and simply gave them the bot victory. What is the point? He re spams this three times. Thank you, administrators, for ruining an event. You must understand the Hispanic community. Also, quick, quick correction. This is, it's not the U.S. team. It is North America. All right, and it is not just the Spanish. It was Spain plus Latin America. There was Latin American streamers in the event as well. They are frustrated and upset because the NA team has been given better treatment than Hispanic. It's always like that. You never put yourself in our shoes. You have been given advantages and Hispanics must be dumbed down. Hispanics are not going to allow that. It's always like that. This, I think this was the first Rust event. What do you mean by always like that? How many times have this happened to you guys on the on the first Rust server? That okay, so for the record, the admin team was international. It was the admin team had people from the UK, from Spain, from America, from Australia. They don't care who wins. They don't get paid if either side wins, right? They don't, they, they don't, they have no incentive. Why did I get banned for putting my opinion on the facts that happened and were evident? Banning me only states the facts. Banning an opinion, I guess, is the best way to silence the truth. Man, this guy is on so much, so much copium. If you say something, hypothetically, if someone was to say something really racist in chat, and I ban that person. Does it make sense for them to go, oh, I said something racist and I also banned. That means what I said was true. That, that is mental gymnastics on another level. Uh, 
Um, this will have to be a deny. Don't overdose on that copium. Imagine 10 hours baby shark. Why are we listening to this crap guys? Oh, this was when I was playing baby shark on loop and I didn't like the fact that he didn't like baby shark. I did complain in a bad way, was having a bad day and the song really got into me. Yo, bro, if you're getting triggered by baby shark, I think I'm worried about you. I'm sorry for my behavior. Wish I was unbanned, but can understand if I don't. Anyways, have a good one. See you in chat if I get forgiven. You know what? That's I'll unban that guy. I hope you can find it in your heart to like baby shark one day. Uh, that's a good apology. No se sabe si eres gringo, chino, o coreano. Ni siquiera tenes identidad basura. Translate. It is not known if you are a gringo, Chinese or Korean, you don't even have a garbage identity. Uh. Well, I can understand why he's confused because I am both Chinese and Korean according to my most recent DNA test. That's probably what he was just curious if I was Chinese or Korean. Uh, it's going to be a deny, but I'll let him know. I'm actually 94% per, Chinese, uh, Chino, 5% um, Koreano, and 0.4% Filipino in Spanish is also Filipino. Oh. Ninety four percent Chino, five percent Coreano, and zero point four percent Filipino. Okay, this is just Russian. I don't like this Alex dude. He gets this whole event on Rust for him and he isn't streaming it. Why are Alex drops up? That's so annoying. Everyone unfollow Alex. Go, bro, guys. If Alex B wants to stream Rust or if he doesn't want to stream Rust, it's his decision. Okay? You don't get to come into my chat and then badmouth him and think I'm going to be okay with it just because he was on the enemy team. Uh, we treat people with respect. Mass unfollow Alex. Why did Alex stop streaming Russ? I was so... Why are you asking me? Bro. This event would not have been possible if Alex B didn't do this with me. Okay? You can't come in here and then badmouth him. And again, I don't have control over what he does. Uh, 
Abuse of admin traps and clips confirm it. Spain will not be part of that hoax. Press admin bothering and distracting the Spanish team. Weapons suddenly appearing to team. Bots appearing in front of the Spanish team suddenly. Breaking walls when it's not legal. They remove the petrol when it favorites Spain. Continue. The only bots that appeared in Rust was in front of the NA team. Um, the Spanish players. So I don't know what bots these guys are talking about. I think the weapon suddenly appearing part was um, when Alistair dropped me my MP5 skin, right? Hang on. Um... Let me find this clip. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of this clip these days. This doing this in a competitive event has no place. Problem. Did, did you do this oh. one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hear you. Oh, does this have audio? Problem. Did, did you do this oh. one? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hear you. <gasps> <gasps> do not. Mine's. This is a little weird. Guys, can you guys go buy guns and shit and anything you need? I guess I have too much money. I don't know. I can't buy Oh, they clipped only the part where the admin gave me the MP5. They cut out the part where he's asked, can an admin skin this for me? And they cut off the part where the admin skinned it for me. What? You know what's the crazy thing? I have an MP5 in my hand. It's in my hand. What am I gonna do with two MP5s? And you know what's the worst part? Look at the top left. The event was over. 25k to 5k. This was after the Spanish team announced they were quitting. That's the thing people are complaining about. An out of context clip, which actually gives context in the clip as well. Because you can see the score in the top left and you can see the gun in my hand. So even out of context, there was context. And that was still enough to get them to accuse the admins of cheating. And this guy, did I say something false? Confirm it for me because Spain is very comfortable right now. Tramposos. Tramposos. Oh, uh, doesn't. What? Cheaters. Oh, there we go. Me, no tramposos. W, Spain sleep, double points, easy win. Roberts, Roberts. My name's Jeremy. <laughs> Who's Robert? Your name are Robert? No, it's Jeremy. Robert, Roberto. Ladrones eso fue pura conveniencia para su 
party fucking liars. I got that part. Thieves, that was pure combianasa for his... He... Okay, so this guy has typo, which makes it hard to translate. What What is he trying to type? It, it's convenienza. Oh. Now, what's the second part? Su part p parte? Oh. Oh, so we're thieves and liars. Got it. And then, poor K. Ablo Espanol, me banneron fucking racist. Lo bueno que los gringos son tan idiotas. Que no hablan otro idioma que no se pendejo. Pentejos! Robert. <laughs> My name is Jeremy. <laughs> Who's Roberts? Because I speak Spanish, they ban me. Racist. Good thing is the gringos are so idiotic that they don't speak any other language. Asshole, asshole. There is something very ironic of this guy saying the only reason he was banned is because I'm a racist. And in the sentence, called the gringos idiotic. So, I'm... Not a, I'm not a, I'm not a gringo. I'm, I'm Chinese. Once again, if you would like to watch my YouTube video recounting my race, uh, I'm 95% Chinese and 4% Korean. And my name is not Robert. Me not gringo. Me, not Robert. <laughs> me, Jeremy, and me, Chino. Now, oh, this guy just insulted a mod. My cat walked on my keyboard. Yeah, I'm just going to deny this one. Dead size Pidora about Tivoy Rotsin Femira. What? That's not even Spanish. What language is this? Anyone? It's Russian? I'm sorry, it's just a joke. I guess we'll never know. Uh, I mean, he said it's just a joke, so. We love you, Toast. Twig rivals. L plus ratio plus Spaniards are sore losers. L plus ratio plus Spaniards are sore losers. Please unban. I'm a huge fan of Toast. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. It's just unfortunate how it ended. I'm sorry. Please give me a chance. Okay. Good job, Mod, on putting an end to this. But again, don't generalize an entire group of people for the actions and behavior of a few of them. Okay? Right? I mean, banter is fine. Like, Calling out shitty behavior is fine, but we have to always try and be respectful and not generalize an entire 
group of people because not all the Spanish streamers were behaving like them. Some of them were behaving very nicely. Some of them were RPing. It was the actions of a few and we don't judge an entire group of people by the actions of a few. Okay, this guy said, very sorry, give me a second chance. Didn't mean to be disrespectful. I'll ban you, but again, generalizations are bad because it creates divide between communities and group of people. Don't let it happen again. Wow, skin's poop. Yeah, no, this guy deserved to be banned. That skin was fire. Stay banned for trash taste, kid. You cheated. Congrats. I regret nothing. It was a fact. You cheated. You know what? I respect that. He doesn't regret it. <laughs> Giga Chad. <laughs> this guy just typed Russia, 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 Russia. N, N word, N word, N, N. For the record, typing N is fine. Typing N word and then acting like, what are you, why are you guys so mad? That's the letter, the Spanish letter N. Does it scare you guys? Are you triggered? Why Ben if it's just letter of N, lol? Like, it's, it's very, it's very immature. I, they've been typing this letter before this event. I think that was fine. Because it's a letter that the Americans don't have, right? I think it's like a pride thing, an identity thing. But like doing this, like, come on, man. So your unbanned request is going to be a N O. Chino prawn, which was, which means Chinese prawn, peron, Chinese dog. And in his unbanned request, he says, toxic racist. Is he talking about himself or is he talking about me? Self sus because self report. What's this? New fan Spanish symbol baby rage flag, new Spanish symbol baby rage flag. Now they are sending Korean dog pigs. Saying your next meal, racist Spanish players and their crybabies. This is one of those things where it's like, yeah, some people are being racist. 
but it's also kind of like this is also a little toxic what do you guys think it was like do we tolerate I mean, he wasn't banned for calling out racism. Banned, but warn him. All right, I'll ban him and I'll give him a 10,000 second timeout. Nothing wrong with calling out racism and just keep it chill, bro. Oh, this guy just typed. Yeah, no. Don't remember being banned must have been years ago. How are you spoiled child of the admin? Um, I'm very quest. How are you spoiled child of the admin? Because my dad works at Twitch and I ask him to let me win for easy $100,000. Uh, the cheat, admin cheat, admin cheats. 90% call with admin, 10% playing. 90% you know what he's, he's not he's not wrong most of my t he, this guy I mean he's right I did spend 90% of my time in calls with admin he's a little spammy I'm done spamming okay no more spammerino okay Thanks for an amazing event, Toast. Hope next time you can play against real players and not Spanish racist crybabies. I, I think he got banned because, again, it's a lot of generalization to say every player on the other side was racist crybabies. I think there was maybe one. Alright, alright. I'll I won't ban him. These ad breaks gay AF fuck ad breaks. I too hate ad breaks, but on this channel we don't tolerate using the word gay to imply something negative. My brother taught me that when I was a teenager, because I like to say that a lot. Yo, yo, that's kinda gay, bro. And he would say, Jeremy, don't use the word gay with negative connotation because one day you're going to say it in the presence of a gay person that you don't know is gay and they're going to feel bad that their, you know, sexual identity is being connotated to a negative sentiment. And since then, we don't, I learned to not accept behavior like that. So, uh, complaining about ads equal reasonable using the word gay with negative connotation is not acceptable just use twitch prime on me lol I miss old Spaniards when they would colonize us rather than these bunch of crybaby streamers. I think this guy's this guy's probably from the Philippines, right? <laughs> uh 
Didn't the Spanish colonize the Philippines? All right. I I don't understand the geopolitical culture around this. Chat deny or unban. They could also be from Latin America. I'm saying a lot of unban. Chad Chill, he was talking to me young. Man, why was this guy banned? Huh? This doesn't seem fair. Please stop bullying. It's two people against ten. They get three points. This just became racist. This just sound racist. This is racist how you treat them. I wasn't wrong. The whole NA community was being racist against the Spanish community and get banned for saying the truth. Chat, the whole NA community, some of you are from the NA community. Were was it every single one of you being racist? Like every single one of you. I feel bad about this one because this person genuinely believes that an injustice was done. Like they're not angry or like saying offensive thing. They genuinely believe that people were bullying them because they were just because they were Spanish. Right? They weren't being disrespectful. They just really believed that. And I think if you believe someone was being racist towards another person, you would also say, yo, this is fucked up, right? Uh, saying that I treated them with racism, I think is very wrong. And I'll unban this person. So that maybe one day they will learn what racism is. Because watching my channel is the best way to learn about racism. Because I'm not a racist. So by watching my channel, you will know how to not be a racist. There it is. There you go. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to do another episode of Guess That Asian soon. Me not racist. Did you see bad administration and all injustice? It was Twitch's fault. I thought Twitch was just trying to... I... No, no. Wasn't Twitch's fault. You really got some random follow up two years banned for saying the chat's being toxic. Dan, his message board isn't really wrong. I'm Irish, but kind of weird of you. Rank free. This guy spends way too much time in his chat, in this chat, and caring about what happens. I'm gonna keep him banned for his own sanity. 
Fuck the admins, 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 fuck the admins. They were just doing their job, bro. Genuinely, I'm sorry. I was talking about the admins. No, I, I know you were talking about the admins. No confusion there. <laughs> I, I got it. You know, I was able to read between the lines and deduce that you were talking about the admins. Sorry, bro. Didn't know you were talking about the admins. My bad. Now they're playing just for fun, guys. Please don't be toxic. It makes me sad you take this patriotism so aggressively. The problem is the organizer of Twitch Rivals, that's all. The admins did it wrong. It's their fault and only their fault. They quit because admins don't know how to make rules and they don't know how to admin. I'm really... Okay, I think we can unban this person. This is another case of just someone genuinely believing that... Okay, the patriotism doesn't make sense. Once again, I'm Canadian. I, I've only been living in the States for five years. It's just someone who genuinely believed that an injustice was done. And I can understand that perspective. That perspective makes sense. I think it's fine to voice that and they did it in a respectful way. I will unban this person. Shame to all of you. Don't deserve the win. You don't have fun. All of you dedicated with the admins to cheat all the event. All the Spanish community don't respect the NA streamers for this. And then 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 all the Spanish community? Is there is there any single one person from the Spanish community? that still respect the NA streamers. Because if it's just one person, then he's lying. There's one? All right, there's one. Ban for tell the truth. One Spanish person in chat says they still respect NA streamer. So you didn't tell the truth. You liar. And poor losers. Okay, this guy didn't deserve a ban. Unban. Hey, I've been on some of the Spanish streams and they have some really legit complaints. You should make it clear to the audience. They have some complaints. I wouldn't say who banned this guy. Holy shit, you're banning me from making the point that Spanish streamers are experiencing legitimate racism for the viewers. I'm pretty sure every streamer on this server experienced racism. If this person is arguing that the complaint is they're experiencing racism, that's not an argument. I got called a dog eating Chino. Did I tell the admins and say, hey, time out. Someone called me a fucking dog-eating Chinaman. 
No, I'm like, bro, that's Twitch viewers. I just banned the guy and moved on. I have to deny. I have to deny because I banned this person and I'm never wrong. The reason is that the Spain side feel disrespected. I think it's understandable. Who banned this guy? They were exper they were conveying a very reasonable feeling. Yeah, you know look, I, I'm gonna go with the mod on this one. That's a deny. S Q W E W F W E F. Pop 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 I I did not know you can get baned for spamming. Oh no, you do. Tramposo Esqueros Tramposo Cedos Filthy Cheating Pigs <laughs> Also my Spanish got really good over these last few days Oink Oink NA streamer so toxic, egocentric and toxic, admin abuse, spawning bots in Spanish raids, very pathetic for the NA community, win, admin abuse, obvious win, spawning bots in face, of easy win, open immortality cheat with commands, any way another admin abuse anyway, admin abuse equals easy win, do an 11, you are very professional with Doing 11s, you are very, what, what's doing 11s? Let's like, do an 11s? You are very professional with that. I'm professional at doing 11s. You are, you all are so racist and uh, you expect one play with you. Ha ha ha. Funny. Why? <laughs> Fuck. Now that's a good question. Toast 11 with an S means September 11. Does it? There's no way this guy made a September 11 joke over a Rust game. NA streamer so toxic. Do an 11. You guys are very professional with that. Tells they mean 1v1? Why would he say we are very good at 1v1s? In Spain, we say 11-S. I think he does mean September 11. Um, damn. I don't know how to answer this question though. Why? Fuck, I, I, I don't know. 
I might have to unband this guy. Very sorry. Uh, wrong ban. Deny. The Spanish are better, but they don't want to play more. You are boring, boys. Lamau, you guys are cringe. The Spanish group have better content. Then why were you on my channel? This is just someone spamming Russian. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Admin, ridiculous rival. Admin abuse. Admin give. Girls, okay. <laughs> Everything I kind of understand. This part's confusing. Girls eat soil. Girls eat soil. Girls eat soil. I mean, do girls eat soil? I mean, I'm not a girl. I don't know what girls do in this. Any girls in chat, do you guys eat soil? Fuck. I mean, I guess they could. Racist is W, not N-A. Enya. Wait, is W racist now? Because I consider myself a W streamer. Fuck, maybe I am racist. Can this even be made into a YouTube video? I used so much racial words in this in this video. Fuck. Okay, I need I, I need to end this. I need to end this video before something more offensive gets on screen. Well, thank you for watching my unbanned request video. Um, I hope this video is monetizable. Uh, as I'm kind of low on cash these days. After winning 100k from the Twitch Rivals event I just organized. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. I really hope it's not demonetized. And then now we do the intro. Uh, welcome to today's video. Actually, I feel like that's a little not unnatural. I have learned to not do YouTube intros, to just let it be naturally done. All right, today we're going to be looking at unbanned requests as a streamer. I have to ban a lot of people coming into my chat because a lot of weird people exist on the internet. And recently we had a Rust rival event that ended in a lot of controversy. So this is the best time to do an unbanned request video because I am sure there are some very spicy messages sent to me. My name is Roberts and let's get started. Actually, no, we need to remove that Roberts part because they won't get the Roberts joke until the middle of it. All right, editor, cut the Roberts part out. And then we put this part at the end. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Roberts, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, my God. I'm so funny. Like, it, sound, it looks cringe to do it on stream, but in the YouTube video, it's going to look amazing because it's like it's a callback. All right. Editor, do your magic. Hey. All right, chat. In about a few minutes, we're going to play some games with Katamiya. We have a sponsored stream for two hours. We're going to be playing Back for Blood.
the Back for Blood new expansion. All right, I'm gonna take a tinkle real quick and we'll get started. What are you talking to? Oh, I have a couple of family members visiting. I have myself a Japanese onigiri here. So girls, do you guys really like eating soil? This is a sponsored segment, so I'm going to put on my sponsored voice. Hello, chat. Welcome. Today, we're going to be playing some Back for Blood because they got their new expansion released called Tunnels of Terror. Available with the Back for Blood annual pass. Did you know you can purchase the Back for Blood annual pass to unlock Tunnels of Terror through, you know, the panel below the stream? and the chat box link that you can activate with exclamation mark B4B 
You know what's amazing about this DLC is that if only one of your friends have it, you can all play it together. You guys, I bet you guys did not know that. You guys did not. Tell, tell me the truth. You guys didn't know that, did you? 